Listen up. Anything in life that I learn, I am obligated to share it with you. Anything that I find useful and helpful to all people, I will share it here on this channel. I wanted to do this video different. My past videos, I've shared information about how to get registered in x-ray, CAT scan, MRI, salary, how to pass the test, how to study. This video is going to be an interactive video. You can reach me through the comments. I'll reply to every single last one of you. <clears throat> Before you crank out your comment, please read the comments below carefully. Perhaps your question has already been answered. If you have knowledge about a school that offers x-ray, CAT scan, MRI that's in your zip code, please share it in the, co in the comments. If you are registered in any particular field, any profession for that matter, it doesn't even have to be in the umbrella of radiology. If you're licensed or registered in anything, share your salary with us because I'm going to share the salaries and that way we'll have a community of where you'll know you'll be getting paid. Be sure to include the city and state you live in when you provide your salary because other people will be basing their salaries off of a California or an Alaskan salary when it's not fair. In this video, I'm going to be discussing frequently asked questions and all of the knowledge that I have required through being registered in the tech as a tech. My name is PhD candidate Tracy Walker. I am registered in CAT scan, X-ray, MRI, Masters in Healthcare Administration. I am two and a half years away from acquiring my PhD in Healthcare Administration. If you have any questions about that, or if there's anything in this video that I did not expand on, hit me up in the comments. I'll be sure to clarify that. If you have knowledge, on anything if you know where if there is an MRI school or nuclear medicine school or a radiation oncology school that starts off paying a hundred thousand dollars that's in your zip code share it in the comments people need to know this is a community and we're sharing and we're learning all right we're gonna jump right into this video regardless of the path you take in life they all lead to a prosperous and rewarding living Check this out. All radiology fields are two year programs and they pay more than all bachelor's degrees. Sometimes double, sometimes triple, especially MRI, CAT scan, MAMO. You also have two others. These are four year degrees like radiation oncology and radiation therapy and nuclear medicine. These are four-year programs that get you upwards on to $150,000 a year. That's physician assistant money. That's the same as a nurse practitioner. And these are only four-year programs. The, the, the algorithm is designed to keep you dumb. Go ahead and thumbs up this video so it can put this out there in the ether so that other people can discover this. Listen, what brainwashing starts is designed for you not to find out about these paths and avenues so that you can go into a four-year university and become nothing. Here's an example. The, the latest Spider-Man movie is based on these children trying to get into MIT. And if they didn't get to get into MIT, their lives were over. Listen. You can get a quality education from anyone who's selling a program, especially if they are an accredited institution of higher learning. We've created a, a brand by going to these big schools, Notre Dame, Stanford, Ole Miss, Nebraska, UT, USC, MIT, these are brands like purses, shoes, and clothes. 
and all their friends are going to these schools. And if you didn't make it into one of those programs at those, at those institutions, you are a failure. That's the state of mind that they want. You can become a doctor at any school that's offering an MD or a DO or PhD program. No one's going to treat you any less or you're not going to get the job based on the school you went to. Listen, your zip code will determine what your opportunities are in life. Let me explain to you how. I've made a video called Knowing What I Wish I Knew What I Know Now Before I Started My X-Ray Journey. What I know now is that you do not have to go to X-ray school to become ultrasound or MRI or CT. You can go straight to that school. So, for example, here in Texas, minimum X-ray starts at 25 bucks an hour entry level after your two-year certificate. MRI can pay 50. You don't need to go to X-ray school to cross train to become MRI. You can go to an MRI school. But here's the thing. A MRI school is not available in every single city. So, like I said, your opportunity is based on your zip code. If there is a credited institution in your area. Another thing that has happened is that programs and institutions have created a monopoly. Let me provide you an example. There's a radiology school in your area. They offer ultrasound, x-ray, MRI. You graduate high school, you go to their school and say, hey, um, I want to start your x-ray program. Well, we have prerequisites. What are your prerequisites? English, math? We require you to become x-ray first. So that way they can sell you two programs. They can sell you x-ray and then they can turn around and sell you MRI. Although neither of them have anything to do with each other. X-ray deals with radiation, MRI deals with magnetism. So they're double dipping. So if there's a school like that in your area that doesn't require that as a prerequisite, put that in the comments so people can find out about it. City and state. All right. A lot of people in the comments have questions about how cross training works. I can explain to you exactly how it works. And if you're still unsure how it works, hit me up in the comments and I can expand on that. So how cross training works. You go to x-ray school. Once you graduate from x-ray school, to become CT, MRI, or MAMO, you do not need to go to, an to another school and then take classes all over again for two years to become that. All you have to do is cross train. There is no job in the, no schooling in the world that does that. The equivalent would be going to school for nursing and then you just cross train behind a doctor and then you take the test and then you become a doctor without going four more years of school to become a doctor. So, how it works, you graduate from x-ray school, you take the test, you get your license number, now you're nationally certified, you start working. Once you get your job, you go to your manager, your supervisor, and you say, hey, I'm interested in advancing my career, I wanna do CT MRI. If they're a gatekeeper, or if they're not a gatekeeper, they will push you through and let you shadow someone, cross train. You have to get 125 exams and you log them into a website and it keeps track of all the exams you need. You need various exams. Um, let's say you're trying to cross train into CT. You need 125 various CT exams. A scan of the brain. A scan of the brain with contrast. A scan of the brain with and without contrast. The abdomen, the pelvis any QC or, or CQ things you have to do on the device to check the monitor. Those exams count. And then once you log them, you crank out 16 or 18 CE credits. CE credits are continuing education credits. It's not going to school. It's just they send you a test booklet and then you read a passage and you take the test on it. And then you submit it. And then those are little CE questions. You can knock out all 16 CEs in one day if you were up to it. Also, um, 
After you have your, your exam that you practice on, your CEs, then you go ahead and try to take the test. Or well, actually, you want to study. I skipped a step. You want to study, and then you can take the test. And you don't get taught. You have to buy your own study materials. And I suggest more than one, like MRI in practice, Mosby's is a good author, Lang, and these are all good study material and sources to help you pass the test. Next, I wanna talk about a lot of people who have attempted to take the test have reached me in the comments. They say, hey, I failed with the, a 69 or a 74. Oh yeah, you have to pass with the 75 on all of the modalities to pass. Not a 70 like we were taught traditionally, but a 75. So a good thing to do is, is to erase all those social media apps into your phone because you are getting distracted. You need to stay off Instagram and stay off Facebook and use all those times where you scroll through your phone to practice 10 to 20 questions a day and remember them. You have to develop good study habits. Here's an example. Buy note cards. Every day, fill out the questions of a note card and on the back side, put the answer. Put 20 in your pocket. Take them to work with you. Take them to the gym with you. Take them on a walk with you. Pull out those note cards and then study them so much to where you know the answer when you're reading the question before you even look at the multiple choices on the back side. You just know the answer. And once you know those by heart, you can move on to the next 20 questions and then that's how you study for the test and that will guarantee you to pass. Also, I want to expand on that. The schools, the institutions do not teach you towards the test. So after you graduate or during your program, you're gonna to want to buy a registry review questions and answers, a prep course, or any kind of study material that will teach you towards the test on how the questions are asked and how multiple choice works. Another popular area I wanna talk about is the difficulty of the programs. These programs, these two-year programs that offer x-ray, ultrasound, MRI, they're not the same difficulty as a four-year university. These programs are designed to push you through and they're designed for you to pass the registry exam. There's a registry exam for all two-year programs, most trades. After you graduate, you get your diploma, which the, the diploma itself is useless. You need the certificate. You need the registry. You need an ID number saying that you are registered a registered nurse, a registered x-ray tech, a registered barber, a registered HVAC technician. I can go on and on and on. So frequently in my comments, people will say, hey, Tracy, I'm not good at math. Um, is that gonna be a problem for me if I try to attempt to graduate from an x-ray program? Listen, you're only required to remember formulas. And once you get those formulas down and you know when to, the, when to apply them, you'll get it. I can expand on how the structure works in school. Traditionally in school, you learn stuff throughout the, throughout the semester. You learn a subject or a few chapters. And then after six weeks or three months, you test on that. How it works in these two-year programs is that on Monday, you learn the material. Tuesday, you may expand on, the, on that material. Wednesday, you're testing on it. That means that's a lottery ticket. The answers is fresh in your head. You're not required to retain that information for six months because your brain is gonna dump it. At least that's how I am. If you're gifted and talented and you remember stuff really well, you should, if you are going to become something in life, you need to use that gift that you have of remembering stuff really well is to go to a biology program at a four-year university, chemistry, become a doctor, those pre-med things, 
chemistry, biology, anatomy, physiology, all those things are pre-med and, and then you can turn that into an MD or a radiologist or anything that's medical. All right, guys, that is a wrap on this video. Remember guys, I want to inspire you to think for yourself through hypnotic rhythm where you use positive routines in your life to improve the quality of your life. Remember, if you have any questions about anything that I missed and I didn't expand on or anything that I was wrong about or any information that you have about the salary that you make or any school that's offering MRI straight out the gate so that you can skip x-ray, put it in the comments. All right, thank you for watching. Peace be with you.